I just played Final Fantasy until 1.30 in the morning. I was doing Rama, the, the touch the things, and then I realized it was like 1.30 in the morning, and I still have to go get the car. Uh. Morning, morning. It's even so bad that I'm still wearing the same, I'm wearing the shirt I was yesterday, because when I got over to the couch, I took it off when it got hot for dinner because Aaron was cooking and the steam from the rice cooker and then I just put and I put it in my chair. Now I'm sitting in my chair about ready to play WoW and I was like it's a little bit chilly in here so I put the shirt on because I'm 35 and I can do that shit. And my sister is now 33. Uh, I don't really know what time of the day she was born so we'll go with the fact that Wednesday was her birthday and she is for sure and um, still process wake up so, so yogurt Waffles and coffee. Brad's coming over later today. He said between noon and one, and I said that's that's perfect. But I didn't realize I would zone out into the. I'm at that weird point where it's like I didn't realize I would zone out into a game that long. Yes, I do realize that, that I have that potential. At least I spent before time getting a lot of my chocobo stuff up so that I could actually run fast. <laughs> They're like level 6 by now, because I kept running around on them, because they're best to travel at night. I don't know how many levels they go up to. A lot of people are trying to find the best way to to do experience and grind, and I'm like, meh. I was reading up on what all the stats do, because there wasn't really a tutorial on that. So, I was just making sure I knew what Vitality and Spirit did. And all that jazz. And... I clicked experience, and they're like, this is the multiple ways to get experience, and then it listed, like, in the forums about all the people gaming their way to get up and most experience, and I'm like, I think I'm already 20 levels ahead of where I need to be. So, yeah, I will chat with you guys here later once I get aired up. All right, it's 11, 12. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, I'm still wearing this shirt from yesterday. I have not changed my clothes other than to get dressed out of bed. <laughs> At least Aaron's wearing different clothing. Well, different shirt. True. We really don't, we don't have that many jog pants. Yeah. Uh, I do, but anyways, I think you should really try those jog. What? I've been trying to get this rare reward, and it was always just RNG to get it or not. And I run this mission like five times. Finally, I got the RNG to be high enough. Okay. I thought, like, maybe you finally beat the game with as cheerful as that was. No. <laughs> He's playing Star Trek Timelines, but... I got the wrong rare reward. Oh, well. So, I did a lot of stuff on Ratsa. Like, I did, like, I guess it would be, like, two quest lines for the Nightfallen, as well as three emissary quests. Not, like... Three world quests towards an emissary, like three full zones. Oh. Yeah. That's why I got three traits. Almost three traits today. Well, actually, I got three. Huh? That makes sense. Well, that's that. Um, I was going to ask, because you watched one or two episodes, two or three, actually, of that. Three or four. I, mean, I, I was too busy trying to take out Titan, watching my guys lie on the ground electrocuted. And flop around like fish. <laughs> <laughs> and they're stiff as a board, too. They're not flopping around. They're like... <laughs> they're... Oh, God. <laughs> and the fact that they even have the sounds for it, too, of being... Yeah. I'm like, are they really good, or did they, like, shock the voice actors? They're really good. <laughs> no voice actors were harmed in the making of this game. <laughs> I do and don't want to see that in the credits. <laughs> anyway, The Magicians. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of dark, but not super dark. Um, Underworld dark? No. Not even that dark. So not even Batman dark? I uh, Maybe Batman dark. It deals with some kind of heavy concepts. Uh, betrayal, addiction. Daredevil dark. Yeah. Daredevil, um, Jessica Jones level dark. Marvel dark. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> DC starts off darker than Marvel can ever get. Unless you're dealing with Lois and Clark. Yeah. The show, that's so bright and happy. 
Almost as bad as, almost like Supergirl. Yeah. But it's good. It's, it's entertaining. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of plot to it, but I'm four episodes in. Of? It's of t the first season. I don't know if it's uh, 12 or 23 or what, but it's not Netflix original. Oh. It just, like, I keep noticing commercial breaks, and I'm like, this can't be a Netflix original. And I look at the title and, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, because they'll have, like, that, it'll look at someone's face, and you'll get that little, like, Dream. cut. And then they'll go to the next scene. <laughs> and then they'll go to the next scene, even so, and you're just like, yeah. But, yeah, it's a world where magic is real, but the magicians don't tell the norms because it would be bad. Harry Potter. Not, not even that. Just like, they don't tell them because it's secrets and everyone loves having their own secret. It's a recurring theme. Oh, okay. So it's not like Harry Potter, which is like, they just won't understand. Yeah. Like at one point, uh, the protagonist is talking to his dad and uses magic in front of him. And his dad's a to use a Harry Potter term, a total muggle. Someone, in fact, at one point says, yeah, she got her mind wiped, all her magic taken away, went full muggle. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's it for today. We are literally doing not much. Yeah. I don't want to record while Bla Brad's here, just for the hell of it. He works with the school district now with sped kids, so I'm not sure what the if there's any rules on that one. Gotcha. So... Besides, we may go out for lunch. I'm probably going to have something quickie to eat. I don't know what is quickie to eat at this point, but... Anyways, so... PB and honey. Bye.